Alright guys, this right here is my screwdriver video. It's all these different handles out there and everybody has a different preference and I'll go through some of these here and tell you yay or nay or it really doesn't matter. Most of the time it really doesn't matter but you know these old acetate handles uh, old plastic they're not bad but they're not good either they're easy to clean but uh, they break down over time this one right here this is a uh, lock block I don't even know where it's made all the shits come off of it can't read any of it but It smells horrible. Just rancid. It's nasty. Um, this right here, you know, it's just a junk old knockoff of the snap on handle. Uh, obviously, it broke or something, so I made myself a little cotter pin puller and uh, get your tip in there, go around the hose, plop it off. Works good now. It's old Proto Professional here. Uh, these things are fucking awesome. Handle, it's not bad. You know, it's probably from the 70s or 80s. Nice, good grip on that, but um, it still has that plastic handle. That one just smells like oil. It doesn't smell like throw up. Yet. Got the Craftsman handle here, it's kind of the same thing. Um, this one's actually an extension. I like these extensions with the screwdriver handle on them that you can put a ratchet there and uh, you know, get a little extra oomph on it. Always nice to have. Pretty sure other companies make these. Matter of fact, I think my snap on set over here has one of these in there. So the old snap on. I like these uh, square handles. These hard plastic snap-ons. These are nice. They shoulda, coulda, woulda never changed them, but they did, and I just, I don't know why, but I don't work for snap-ons, so I don't know. Maybe they had a bunch of people complain about them. I don't know. To me, these are easy to clean. They fit good in the hand. You know, easy to spin. Why change? Duralast, same thing, Craftsman plastic handle, a little swell right there, it's good. That's a quarter inch, but it doesn't have the receiving end in the tip. These are their newer style Craftsman Professional, and this is rubbery, nice and rubbery. This is hard plastic, but um, you can still get a good grip on something and get a lot of torque on that fastener to get it off of there. And I like these. I wish they didn't have this, but you know, tells you right there what it is so you can drop it in a hole and not stare at the tip to try to figure out what it is. You just look over and read it. I believe this is an old snap-on. Matter of fact, I know it is because here's I got two of them. An the old snap-on plastic. It's a little different than this one. This one has more of a palm swell in the back. But um, these are still nice. I mean, worked for years. They get a little slippery when it's oily. All these plastic handles do. But you know, what are you gonna do? You gonna get a rubber thing and put some nipples on it? Well, after time, all these break off. But, you know, same thing. It's got a nice little palm swell there. Fits in the hand good. Place for your thumb there. You're really giving it to her. Prying that, I mean, unscrewing that fastener. The old Pittsburgh plastic handle. Now, I don't know what this is made out of, but it's absolutely junk. These are throwaway 
make something else out of them because these handles suck. They don't feel good, they're too small. I mean, look, it's still got fucking flashing on it from the mold. I mean, just, I'm talking about a cheap screwdriver. This one was free. Came in a set of like six of them. You get what you pay for. Um, here's another Harbor Freight. I think these are like uh, on sale for five bucks. It's got some good rubber grippy there. I mean, you can you can spin that pretty good. It's it's not so bad, but look at that tip. You can get too much torque on this one. You can twist her right all to hell. So, again, you get what you pay for, but hey, five or six bucks, throw them in the back of a truck, have them when you need them. Hopefully you don't need them real, real bad. Got an old ace handle here, plastic. It's more of the square, but it does have grooves in here, so you can get your fingers on there and give her a little more wrenching. But, um, you know, just plastic screwdriver. You don't want to hit that with a hammer. It won't last very long. This is back when Ace tools were still made in USA. Good old black and yellow Stanley. Now, um, this does not say where it's made. Oh, made in USA with global materials. I don't know if you can see that or not. Made in USA with global materials. So, I don't know what that means, but it's not that bad. This is not rubber, but maybe it's hard rubber. It feels like a soft plastic. But I mean, you can you can still get some torque on there. There's you got the little finger holes. You get your finger in there. You get you some unfuck. China, for sure. That's a horrible copy of a square handle with finger grooves. Kind of small. I don't know. Just doesn't really doesn't really feel right. Ace does not say. USA or anything on it, but a lot of them plastic handles, guys. These have little smaller grooves in them. I think that's actually hexagonal. But you can still get the tip of your finger in there. China. I have a whole set of these, and um, I don't know what they cost, but I wish I hadn't bought the whole set. Even though for a long time they were the longest, I have a couple of them that are, you know, 16, 18 inches, so they were the longest. It was probably a $10 for a set of, I think it's like 20 of them or 27 of them, something like that. Big, there's old Proto Challenger, or Challenger by Proto, however you want to say it. Nice big hefty acetate starting to, starting to smell. Number three, she's got some wear on her. Still works. Here's another Craftsman nut driver handle. You can see a little bit of difference. This one right here is a little smoother. This one right here is a little. You know, the, those edges, those ridges pop out more. So they do give you a little bit better of a bite on something. But that one's for nut driving, that one's for socket driving. And the Stanley is like this old workforce one. Which I'm sure this is Chinese. I actually bought this and then found out it had a good metal tip on it. So I didn't destroy it. I was going to turn this into a bottle opener, which seeing how many fucking screwdrivers I have now, I may go ahead and do it because I have this fucking magnetizer, demagnetizer thing. It's not like I need a metal or a magnetized tip on something. I can put it on whatever I want. But it's not bad. This Stanley, I think, has been holding up pretty good for years. It's also one of those ones that broke off and 
didn't give two shits about the warranty. Obviously, I got a little close to the grinder when I was making this one. But, um, yeah, it's to get back on one and get her loose for hoses. The old Klein USA. Busted the tip off of her. She's, uh... She's no Gouda anymore. I don't even know what the hell this was. It might have just been a scratch owl or hell now it's a small hole alignment tool. But uh I like these handles. That rubber's nice. You get a little greasy and it sticks on there. I mean Klein's Klein screwdriver's pretty good. You know, if you got them, you're not pissed about it. OEM doesn't say where it's made. It's not a pry bar punch or chisel, but um, it is a number one. It does have the nut on the shaft, so it's always nice. And it's held up pretty good, actually. And it's got a three lobes, like the new Snap-on Instinct and all those other handles are going to, the three lobes instead. And it, I don't mind that. Puts that one lobe right there on the back of your fingers, right there where they bend into the hand. So it's not a bad design. Durex, I thought they made condoms, but apparently they make screwdrivers too. This is another one of those Chinese snap on and rip off square handle deals. Matco hard plastic handle. Really, it kind of doesn't feel. Some of these hard plastic handles, like this snap one right here, it just feels better. It's got that swell in it. It just really does feel better in the hand. Kind of like these old ones, even though there's no swell there, it, it just fits right. You know, that one comes into those knuckles there, everything still lines up on the old ones work great. This is a uh, Mac Tools. Reminds me of Proto. Don't know why, but you know, that's a good handle. You can start to get your fingers in there if you need to. And little cut out grooves. Not bad. This one's big enough to make a fairly decent pry bar. This one right here is the old trilobe. This is a popular mechanic. You can't tell by looking at it. I know what it is because I've had it forever. But um, it actually feels good. I like those little ridges in there. But um, get oil and shit on it. It doesn't slip as bad as the smooth ones. But it's still easy to clean off. Nice grooves there. Get a hold of that. But yeah, it's not bad. It's one of the better plastic handles. Got this little guy here, Hong Sheng. This is the only one I have like this. It's a T6, and uh, it does fit good in the hand. That does not move, so harder to do the little stuff with it, but. It feels good, nice and tacky. It's rubber, it's starting to get hard, starting to turn. But um, nice little palm swell in there, it's still squishy. Got the old S and K right here. This is the good feeling screwdriver. I like these too. Just like the snap-on ones. Um, S K made in USA. Good stuff fits right in the hand just perfect for me got these brand new ones here these craftsman diamond tip I tell you what that diamond tip is turning out to be one of my favorite tips and uh, I give her the whole tip every time I could I could be more of a fan of the handles because they're not my favorite they're not bad they're just not my favorite also these don't have 
the nut. So you're really limited to whatever you can grip on and get going. And these actually have a triangle pattern. But there's lots of different cutouts in here. That's all hard plastic. That's all soft rubber. Well, a medium density rubber. So, yeah, you can you can get on there and get a good turn. They haven't let me down yet. I've been using these specifically my main screwdriver here for the last few weeks and I've been liking them. These right here are the best handles I've ever laid hand on. These are the old Main USA Western Forge Craftsman Professional. These handles right here, there's just something about them that rubbers to medium density too, just like this rubber. But um, I don't know, there's just something about these handles. Those grooves are nice and big, you can really get your finger in there. They don't slip when you got oil on them. I mean, hex shank, you don't have the nut. It's a whole hex shank. Granted, it's not huge, so you can't get a big wrench on it. You can still get a wrench on there if you need to. And these tips, they're not diamond, but these tips have held up for me 20 years. I mean, they're easy to clean, they're starting to fade. But, um, hell, these even had the, the marking on the back of them 20 years ago. So, yeah, these right here are my favorite hand. Oh, you can get into the snap on, like this one. I like that. It's got the roundness there. I like that one. I like these, even though I think they could do a little better. They've done these more into a square pattern, and there's, I mean, you get your fingers on this rubber, you got a good grip, but you're, you're on that plastic, you can slip right off of that. That rubber's good. Nice and sticky. You like these triangle ones. Something about that triangle, I don't know, I just like it. Of course, can't go wrong with a Klein either. It's got that nice rubber. That shit don't slip. I mean, can't go wrong with them. Anyway, this was uh, for Beer Stud. My comment would have been four pages long about my screwdrivers and which ones I like versus. So I went ahead and pulled a bearded CB82 and shot a video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Love, hate, hardknocksforge, gmail.com. Don't send me any paintings, because they never fit.